Saints, I want you to really listen to me clearly in this broadcast. I want you to think about this from now on that the Lord on purpose will give you provision and he'll answer prayers in order for you to be free from pain and delivered from problems. The Bible talks about in Psalm 34 that the Lord, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. The Holy Spirit has a motive every single day to deliver you out of stuff that are problematic. Issues that you have. The Word of God says something mighty in Hebrews that a lot of people didn't really dwell on. It says that he is touched by the feelings of your infirmities. And infirmity is anything that brings you discomfort, a dis-ease. It, it, it affects the peace. It disturbs your focus or disturbs your productivity or disturbs your mental mind frame, your meditation. If it affects you in any way, it says that he's touched. That means that God does not ignore stuff in your life that brings issues to you. He has a solution. You got to humble yourself enough for him to give you the solution. If you're proud, if you are uh, self-confident, if you're haughty, if you exalt yourself, you can't receive the solution. But if you lower yourself, which a lot of people don't do that. They don't lower themselves. You got to lower yourself. If you're going to get that solution, you got to lower yourself. The spirit of God already has daily answers and solutions for things that are problematic. Like, let me just give you a scenario right now. If somebody came to your apartment right now, your house right now your hotel room, your, your hospital bed right now. And they came to you and said, I, I come to arrest you because there's been warrants out for your arrest. And they come arrest you right now and they take you to jail. You shouldn't get scared. There's a solution to come out of that. Now, if people get a hold of your business, yeah, they're yep, yep, yep. They'll talk, talk, talk. But you can't live your life out of the lens of people watching you. You got to live your life out of the lens of, I want to be led by the Spirit and find the solution that He has for me. What is the way that you find the solution that God has for you? You have to be a person that focused on praying in the Spirit. Because the Spirit of God is the only one Jesus said brings to your remembrance everything that I've said unto you. It is the Spirit of God that brings unto your remembrance the things that is needful for you to ponder, for you to collect in your mind, and for you to dwell upon it is the Spirit of God that brings it to your remembrance. So you have to pray in the Spirit. And you have to pray in the Spirit with complete focus and passion and dedication. If you are a person that don't pray in the Spirit, you're going to make jackass moves. You're going to say jackass words. I can't tell you the amount of people that don't pray in the Spirit Something going to pop off and you're going to do something stupid. You're going to look like an asshole. It's saying on purpose. God going to let something happen in your life and, and you're going to be tested and the asshole going to come out of you. And, 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 and when you look back at it, you're going to be like, oh, what a dummy. What, what, what was that? Praying in the spirit is, is a dosage that everybody will need. You cannot make wise decisions forever without praying in the spirit. You can't. You'll need to pray in the spirit so that you do not speak something stupid, connect with somebody stupid, go somewhere stupid. I was thinking about it today. You know how many people have gotten hit by stray bullets? But what if they was led by the spirit? The spirit would have told them not, don't stand right here. The spirit would have unctioned them, don't, don't go here today. The spirit would have unctured them. Don't think like this. Don't, 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 don't pursue this today. And that stray bullet will never hit them. 
You know how many people send their children to school on a day? And if they was led by the spirit, they will heard the spirit say, don't send them to school today. Not today. Not today. Saints, you got to be led by the spirit in everything. You can't trust the normality of life because nothing is promised and settled. You know how many people went into 9-11 on that day? And that was when the planes hit. And some people called in sick that day. Some people didn't go into work that day because they was led of the spirit. <clears throat> Being led of the spirit requires a lot of focus and attention to moments. Because even though you think things are going as normal as it always goes, there may be something deadly, destructive, embarrassing, shameful, unseen against you. You know how many people get uh, uh, shot and they feel an urgency to leave a place and they don't leave and they pow, 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 they did. You know how many people get caught up in, in different things that wasn't even... It wasn't even supposed to come to them, but it was just in the vicinity. They was just in the proximity. They was just in the area. And life is not that safe where you can live without praying the spirit. You can live without praising God and talking with him always because you're going to need him. He is your only protector. Even man, man could be with security guards and still get shot. Security guards can only do so much. Think about what I'm telling you. 